باشید Thank you.
the son of thy handmaiden. Work in me a sign unto God, and let them that hate me behold me put to shame. For thou, Lord, hast opened me and comforted me. Work in me a sign unto God, and let them that hate me behold me put to shame. For thou, Lord, hast opened me and comforted me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 glory to the O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to the O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to the O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <coughs> In their sufferings, O Lord, thy martyrs received imperishable crowns from thee, O God. Who possessed of thy might, they cast down the tormentors and crushed the feeble audacity of the demons. By their supplications, save thou our souls, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O thou who for our sake was born of a virgin, and didst suffer crucifixion, and that one and didst despoil death by death, and is now the mystery of the resurrection, this day not them which thou hast fashioned with thy hand, and show forth thy love for mankind, a merciful one, except the Theotokos, who gave thee birth, who interceded for us, and do thou our Savior, save and despairing people. Deliver us not up utterly for thy holy name's sake, rather listen all thou thy covenant, and cause not thy mercy to depart from us, for in your hands sake thy beloved, and for our sake sake thy servant, and for Israel as thy holy one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. <coughs> holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. receiving the trophy of victory from on high, and crying out with oneness of mind, how good and joyous it is to be with God. What a mercy, Lord, 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 mercy. Thou who at all times and in every hour in heaven and on earth have worshipped and glorified of Christ God, who are long suffering, plenteous and mercy, most compassionate, who lovest the righteous and hast mercy on sinners, who callest all the salvation through the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour, and God our life for thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, we chase our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us in honor for thy holy angels, that God and guided by their array, we may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of that unapproachable glory. For blessed are thou under the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and the beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God, the word, the very Theotokos, the new we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. To the prayers of the Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, for God have mercy on us. Amen. O Master Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who are long suffering in the face of our transgressions, and who has brought us even under this present hour, wherein thou hast hanged upon the life giving tree, and is taken away into paradise for the wise thief, and by death is to destroy death. Be gracious unto us, sinners and unworthy servants, for we have sinned and committed iniquity, and are not worthy to lift up our eyes and behold the height of heaven. For we have abandoned the way of thy righteousness and have walked in the desires of our hearts. But we beseech thy boundless goodness, spare us, O Lord, according to the multitude of thy mercy, and save us for thy holy name's sake, for our days were consumed in vanity. 
Rescue us from the head of the adversary and forgive us our sins and mortify our part of mind that putting aside the old man we may be clad with the new and live for thee, O Master and Benefactor, and in us by following in thy commandments we may attain the rest of our last and where is the dwelling place of all that rejoice. For thou art indeed the true joy and gladness of them that love thee, O Christ our God, and unto thee we send our glory with thine originate Father, thy most holy and good and life creating spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our God, always now and ever and unto the ages of Amen. 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 Confession and majesty is thou put on, who covers thyself with light as with a garment, who stretches out the heaven as it were a curtain, who supports his chambers in the waters, who appointed the clouds for his ascent, who walketh upon the wings of the winds, who maketh his angels, spirits, and his ministers a flame of fire, who establisheth the earth and the shrewdness thereof, which will not be turned back forever and ever. The abyss like a garden as his mantle, upon the mountains where the waters stand. At thy rebuke they will flee, at the voice of thy thunder shall they be afraid. The mountains rise up, and the plains sink down into the place where thou hast established them. Thou pointest about that they shall not pass, neither return to cover the earth. He sendeth forth springs in the valleys, between the mountains where the waters run. They shall be free to all the beasts of the field, the wild asses will wait to quench their thirst. Beside them will the birds of the heaven watch, from the midst of the rocks will they give voice. He watereth the mountains from his chambers, the earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He crosseth the grass to grow for the cattle and the green earth for the service of men. He bring forth bread out of the earth, and one make it glad the heart of man. To make his face cheerful with oil and bread strengthen in man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon which thou hast planted. There will the sparrows make their nests, the house of the heron is chief among them. The high mountains are a refuge for the hearts, and so is the rock for the hairs. Yet leave the moon for seasons, the sun knoweth his going down. Thou pointest the darkness, and there was the night when all the beasts of the forest will go abroad. Young lions roaring after their prey, seeking their food from God. The sun ariseth, and they are gathered together, they lay them down in their dens. But men shall go forth unto his work, and to his labor unto the evening. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is full of thy creation, so is this great and spacious sea. There are not things creeping innumerable, small living creatures of the grave. There go the ships, there the dragon, thou hast made to play therein. All things wait on thee to give them their food in their season. When thou givest of them, they will gather it. When thou openest thy hand, all things shall be filled with witness. When thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled. Thou wilt take their spirits, and they shall cease, and unto them thou shalt they return. Thou wilt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages, the Lord will rejoice in his works, who looketh on the earth, and into the temple, who toucheth the mountains, and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life, I will chant to my God for as long as I have my being. May my words be sweet unto him, and I will rejoice in the Lord, for that sinners would cease from the earth, and they have work in iniquity, that they should be no more. Bless the Lord, of my soul. The sun knoweth is going down, thou pointest the darkness, and there was the night. How magnified are thy words, O Lord, and bless them, how to make them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Of the holy churches of God in the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let us only tremble and for them with faith, reverence, and the fear of God as their hearing, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our great Lord and Father, His Holiness Patriarch Kirill, for our Lord, that every most reverend metropolitan Nicholas, first hierarch of the Russian Church abroad, for the venerable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, 
Let thy ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If thou shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, O Lord, who shall stand? For with thee there is forgiveness, O how glorious wonder! Show me courage, O woman, and trample the enemy underfoot, and suppress the passions of the body through great abstinence. Jealously taking the cross of the Lord upon her shoulders, now the key has shared the burden of life's possessions and followed after Christ through the teachings of the wise moments. For thy name's sake have I patiently waited for thee, O Lord, my soul hath waited patiently for thy word. My soul hath hoped in the Lord, O a glorious wonder, showing courage a woman the enemy underfoot, and suppress the passions of the body through great abstinence, zealously taking the cross of the Lord upon her shoulders, and the key has shared the burden of life's possessions and followed after Christ, through the teachings of the wise knowledge. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel hope in the Lord. Now it's been revealed to us as a new fact, love. For finding thy teacher, notice to be another fault. Thou didst accept his teachings, O glorious one, having fervently embraced repentance. And through abstinence thou didst join thyself to Christ, O a blessed and most honored Pelagia. Wherefore cease thou never to pray to Christ that we be saved. For with the Lord there is mercy and with him is plenteous redemption. And he shall redeem Israel out of all his iniquities. Now it's been revealed to us as a new thick love. For finding thy teacher, notice to be another Paul. Thou didst accept his teachings, O glorious one. Having fervently embraced repentance, and through abstinence thou didst join thyself to Christ. O all blessed and most honored Pelagia. Wherefore cease thou never to pray to Christ that we be saved. <clears throat> o praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise him, all ye peoples. Rejoice, O most honored Pelagia. For most honorably enkindled by zeal divine, Thou didst cast away the pleasure of fornication, O blessed one, and hastening to notice its cry aloud, thou must needs give answer for my deeds, if thou wilt not seal me with the sign of Christ, O glorious one, investing me through baptism with the robe of purity. For he hath made his mercy to prevail over us, and the truth of the Lord abideth forever. Rejoice, O most honored Pelagia, for most honorably enkindled by zeal divine, thou didst cast away the pleasure of fornication, O all blessed one, and hastening to notice its cry aloud. Thou must needs give answer for my deeds, if thou wilt not seal me with the sign of Christ, O glorious one, investing me through baptism with the robe of purity. Glory in the fourth tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, where sin is ripe, the grace of as the apostle teaches. For in prayers and tears thou didst try at the abyss of many offenses, O Pelagia, 
and is finally bring to the Lord right acceptable repentance, and there end us pray for our souls. Both now the dogmatic theotokia to the second tone, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen.
Christ, be the dominion of thy kingdom, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of the Having 
given birth unto God, him they now entreat that our souls be saved. Mercy us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, walk in and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for our great Lord and Father, whose holiness we fear and fear of, to our Lord, the very most reverend, metropolitan Nicholas, first hierarch of the Russian Church of God, all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy.